I was contacted by Marcel Touihani, who is the president of the Assemblée Territoriale of French Polynesia, to make a memorial sculpture of our last queen, Pomaré IV. We therefore worked together on this project. I proposed a few drawings, then I had to find the rock and finally sculpt it, which took quite a while. I had to cut and knock to get rid of the unneeded areas, then give the curves and polish. There are a lot of different steps to arrive even to this unfinished stage right here. We are always on volcanic rocks, of course, here in Tahiti. But even if it is all basalt, there are differences from one stone to the other. Therefore, depending on the stone you have, you have to adapt certain tools rather than others. Some rocks react well to percussions, and others prefer caresses, we'll say. Even if the human race can leave a trace on nature, just like I did as a sculptor on this rock, it is important not to forget how the rock was before. All the areas of untouched rock on this sculpture is a way to give back and honor nature, who gives us everything. The uniqueness of this rock is that it has an exterior crust made of earth. That earth crust got petrified, sort of, and is now part of the rock. Therefore, we can see a difference in color between the exterior, which is brown, and the interior, which is somber. So I play with these two colors through depth to show the fullest nuances of this rock and piece. The idea was to bring out the aura that the queen might have had that royal prestance, that decisive look on the future, and the watchful eye on her islands. I also added symbols. She has the typical thick hair of a Polynesian woman. The three-branded braid intertwined is symbolic of the link between the communitary Polynesian society, but also the Polynesian triangle, which shows to be unified by this braid. The braid unweaves and becomes waves, becomes the sea, becomes water. Water, which is the link between all of us, since we are on islands. Water, which was also an important element for the Queen Pomare IV, since she loved to bathe into the pond right next to the sculpture. One of the hardest part on a multi-ton piece like this one is undertaking the last moving of the piece. The sculpting part is finished, so we think we are free of trouble now. But until the piece is in its final place, there is always a major risk of damage. So of course, I was stressed there. I have been sculpting for many years now on Tahiti and Bora Bora before, but here, to be able to make that stele in this magnificent park is a real honor.